Hello Startup Vision, I'm Géraldine Lemeur, a general partner and co-founder at Le Fond by Friend Founders. Hello Géraldine, thank you so much for being here today. I'm so happy to have you on. So you say that VCs are reinventing themselves. Uh, how do you plan to do that with Le Fond, a new fund that you're going to lead with the French uh, Founders Business Club? Well, I think what is new with Le Fond and what we do with French Founders is uh, we are not starting with the money, but we are starting with people. Uh, French Founders is all about people. It's a community of, uh, of business people working together with a lot of energy and that really want to help in business. And we are adding uh, the uh, level of investment that was uh, somehow missing in, in, in that piece. Even though we had a very effective and, and, and uh, um, very motivated uh, business uh, angel club called the Investor Club within, uh, within French Founders. And Le Fond is going to work with the Investor Club too. So you are personally a serial entrepreneur and also a serial investor. After the refiners, a fund based in the Silicon Valley, now Le Fond based in New York. So after all those different experiences and the year we just went through, do you see things differently? Well, we, we have to see things differently. A lot of things change. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we are now uh, working uh, really remotely. And I think in the VC world, uh, this is something that was a, a game changer. Uh, before, before 2020, uh, you would not expect any VC to invest without uh, seeing people in real life, like talking to the entrepreneurs uh, with uh, meetings, several meetings, uh, and this is still happening, but those meetings are definitely online on Zoom, on any other platform. And that, that is a game changer. It is a game changer because it, it kind of uh, helped to invest everywhere. Uh, before, uh, well, when you were in San Francisco, you were not really looking at what was happening uh, somewhere else. And now it's not, there is, I mean, the boundaries are kind of fading. So, uh, um, so yeah, that, that in the VC world, that's definitely a game changer. Yeah, definitely. So Le Fond will fund startups, but also help them develop their business internationally because you have all the, the, the resources to do that. And you will help them recruit the right uh, teams with uh, can be very, very challenging. Yeah, the point with Le Fond, as I was saying earlier, is that we start with people. So, uh, so the idea is, of course, to be able to make checks and, and, and really being part of uh, the, the fundraising. But as you could, I mean, could see before acceleration program for, for startups, where, what we are creating with the fund is a post-investment program. So this is really business oriented. This is very pragmatic. What we have with friend funders is we have a team, a business solution team, um, who is capable of helping on helping on those business business connections, on on finding helping with the network, finding the right people to uh, when you enter when you enter a new country, you really need to uh, fill this uh, cultural gap and 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 try to be as efficient as possible and and not make errors. So the point with Le Fond is really to focus on that also by helping with the money, but helping with the people. And you can do that all over the world because your network is uh, worldwide, in fact, kind of. Yeah, the, well, not kind of. Actually, that's true. Uh, the, the French Founders Network is 40% is, uh, is US, 40% um, EMEA, as we say, and, and APAC is big. Uh, Asia is 20%. So that means that we have a footprint everywhere uh, in the world. And that is key to success for those entrepreneurs who are entering those markets. So yes, uh, naturally, um, the US is kind of the low hanging fruit because we are, we are here, I'm in the US and, and, uh, and a, a, a lot of people in the network are in the US, but obviously I'm, I'm already talking a lot uh, with, um, with the people uh, of the network that we have in Asia uh, so that we can, we can really help on that too. Definitely. And what challenges do you see for a French company scaling up right now in the US, given the, the current situation? It's different from before. Um, 
Well, you know what? I think the challenges are everywhere. It's not, it's not only about scaling in the US, it's just about scaling your company wherever you are. So uh, it's, it's, definitely, um, it's definitely more complicated right now because of COVID. Uh, so uh, some of the companies have postponed their plan to extend. Uh, mm -hmm. But it could be an opportunity too, and um, and I think um, 2021 will be will be um, a comeback. So the challenges are are the same. It's just like we have a, a pause uh, in um, in in every business, and and how do you yeah how do you manage that pause? Do you have to postpone your plans, or is it an opportunity to go because because of that? It's um, yeah, I mean uh, it's everywhere. It's the same. And do you, do you address um, uh, French founders members to fund uh, uh, the startups or are you open to, you know, any startup? How does it work? So you mean for the startups or for, for an investor perspective? Uh, investors perspective. So for the LPs in Le Fonds, uh, we are obviously very open to uh, French founders members, but open to everyone, everyone who wants to invest in startup and who believe in in our mission and in the fact that we we really want to help people so um it's as i said it's not it's not only about money so any any lp uh, who is uh, uh, interested in investing in lefon should contact me even if you're not in the french funders yet network and you work as a rolling fund uh, from what you explained to me so yeah, we have, we have decided to take uh, the structure of the rolling fund, which has been uh, authorized by uh, the US uh, administration uh, like a year ago or so. And AngelList has created a product around that. I really like the rolling fund because it's, uh, it's, it's really aligned with the community as we are in French founders, uh, meaning that uh, LPs can onboard uh, I mean, on the flow every trimester, which, which well, every quarter, sorry for the French uh, translation, every quarter. Um, and, and obviously this gives a lot of flexibility for a continuous uh, investing and also continuous onboarding of people who are interested in investing in the fund. Okay, great. I mean, great explanation. Thank you so much, uh, Jardine, for sharing all those uh, uh, ideas, uh, thoughts, and um, and projects with us on Startup Vision TV. Thank you for being here. Thank you.